Dogecoin traders, what's going on? Looking at Dogecoin, Dogecoin, whatever you want to say. D O G E on that ticker, the big powerhouse meme coin that started it all. We are going to be looking at it, especially since it is top 10. Unfortunately, I do think that meme coins are going to have an extremely big narrative this cycle, so not going to be able to ignore any sort of meme coins right now, especially since they are <laughs> maintaining a lot of hype and, uh, yeah, going to be getting a lot of attention, I think, this cycle, unfortunately. But uh, that's just the way it goes. So that's why we're covering it on the channel. And you always got to know what is maintaining the hype and especially maintaining the spotlight. And uh, obviously on this chart, still maintaining good trends and a lot of good technical indicators for a lot of upside direction. So wouldn't actually be surprised to see Dogecoin finally break the $1 psychological mark this cycle. But obviously that won't happen probably here for a while until we get max peak euphoria out of the crypto space. Obviously, a little speculation, so nonetheless, I digress. We are going to be talking about this chart setup right now and what we are expecting. So starting off in the daily right now, and very nice rebound on this current daily candle after a bear sell-off day yesterday, but still maintaining a very nice support on top of the 26 period exponential moving average. That was extremely nice closing support before. So great thing that we're seeing right now is another stair-step type pattern off these EMAs. So we'll pull back to the 50, pull back to the 26, now, probably on this next run, we'll likely see a pullback to maintain support on top of the 12. That's typically how they go on the way up as well as on the way down as well. So first find support on the 12, 26, and then support on the 50. So that is usually what we see. And that's why right now, very good sign, maintaining a lot of upward buying pressure, especially when the rest of the market has had a lot of sell-off pressure days coming in on it. So up overhead, we are looking at a resistance point coming in for a psychological level, or not psychological, but close at 22. So 0.2200044. That is our up overhead resistance that we're going to need to see a break and close above, hopefully to maintain that level as a nice support before continuing on. So big, strong resistance point that we are going to be looking at, especially since we did get resist resistance and rejection from it for about four days up overhead here. Now, in that instance, too, I actually saw a little bit of tapering off bull volume compared to what we saw on this initial run when we saw the prices get up to a high of 0.20913. So looking at some technicals on the daily, starting off with the RSI, you can just see how crazy and extremely overextended the RSI was on the daily on this initial move, got to 94.59, which for a daily RSI to close out is extremely high. Now, as you can see on the following candle, it had a big upper wick, which means this RSI actually got a lot higher than that. So we probably saw the RSI get up to 96 or 98. I wouldn't have been surprised, but on the close, we were looking at that candle closing at 94.59. So a little bit of a pullback there. Nothing to be crazy unexpected about, but the next run up actually didn't get as high. So like we said, actually a decent amount of increasing bullish volume for this, this period of a run up but that actually didn't lead to the RSI getting that crazy. So 71.98, obviously a huge amount of bearish divergence here. So prices got a little bit higher high, but obviously the RSI got a lot lower high on that. Okay, so flipping over into the two-day chart right now and essentially do want to point out, as you can probably tell, extremely nice support, not perfect support on here. We did have a little bit of closing below, but we do know that this 12-period EMA on this two-day chart is an extremely nice guide. And that's another reason why in this instance right now, we are expecting a little bit more upside, especially with decreasing bear sell volume here. Now, one of the things on this two-day chart as well, is that we can just notice a huge taper off in pretty much all bull volume. So even though we are still expecting a little bit more upside, just like we saw from decreasing bear volume as well as the bearish divergence on the RSI, we know that the move here is starting to slow down. So maybe we could see one more upside target, but then ultimately we are going to have to actually establish some support levels here and actually go into a little bit more period of consolidation before we do see a next run up. Just because we have started to get a little bit too far overextended, for a little bit more of that longer term. So probably we would be looking at a little bit more period where not too much crazy action has been happening. So lately we've been seeing a lot of big bullish candle bodies and bearish candle bodies as well. So a lot of volatility coming in, but thankfully for the bulls, mostly to the upside, but we do know that we do need to see periods just like this where we don't actually see much trading going on before we start to see the next big explosive moves and spikes to the upside that really create a lot of that price action direction.
So pulling up the technical indicators for this two-day chart as well, just like we talked about, a lot of this bullish divergence or bearish divergence here actually coming in. But the thing that's notable right now about this current chart is that the stochastic RSI is actually below the 20 line here and actually had this nice bullish cross. So if we can continue in the current daily candle, the two-day candle closes in a little over a day. So it did just get started. So we do have a little bit more time period to see a little bit more upside and follow through. So if we can get that a little bit more of this nice bullish increasing volume, that'll be an extremely good sign. Other thing I want to talk about and look at too, is that we're actually looking at a nice pennant type pattern and a flag type pattern forming on this RSI. So we have lower highs, but we also actually have very nice support levels coming in. So we know that the tighter this gets, the more likelihood that it's just kind of like a, norm, a normal flag and pennant type pattern that we're going to likely see the next big breakout, especially as we are confirming a lot of these nice supportive and bullish signs, just like support along the 12 period exponential movement average. You combine that with that, we do have a strong meme coin narrative coming in and that Dogecoin is one of the stronger meme coin names. We know that likely this is going to see a little bit more upside pressure as we do continue this trend. Switching over to the 12 hour chart here really quick before we go ahead and wrap up and just want to highlight again that we are looking at extremely strong closing level of resistance coming in at the 22 cent level just slightly above it. So that's going to be a extremely strong zone that we look at. And so right now that could actually be a very nice case to think that if possible, we might not actually see a bull break of it if this level does hold. But as long as we can continue to get guidance from these exponential moving averages, we could sit sideways a little bit longer, which actually would be a good sign because when we actually do break a bullish above this 22 cent level, that would be an opportunity to see very nice support acting to the downside before seeing the next leg up. So like we talk about many times, the longer we sit sideways in a level and actually confirm it as support or resistance, the more that level does get established and provides that support or resistance when we get that opposite test. So right now, things are very much in favor for the bulls in the near term future anyway, and not really any super signs of any bearishness come in and just want to point out how kind of like we talked about very nice opportunity for long resistance. And that's why now we are finding it as a little bit more support on this level. So you can see the overall price action and mass. We had a little bit of a dip here, obviously, but overall, we are still finding very nice support and most price trading action is sitting on top of this resistance level on top of the 18 cent level. So yeah, Doge and a lot of the rest of the meme space right now is still looking pretty strong. And I think we will see a lot of big things out of it this upcoming cycle, despite whether or not we actually enjoy meme coins and think they're beneficial for the space. But yeah, they are here, so we do need to embrace them and actually observe them with an objective lens here without any blinders on and uh, right now it looks like doge is actually sitting pretty good right now especially given the rest of the crypto space and its place in the crypto top 10 right now so uh, yeah with that that actually is going to go ahead and wrap up the show for today on dogecoin doggy coin whatever you want to say d-o-g-e on that ticker hope you all enjoyed if you did hit the thumbs up like and subscribe if you have not done so just yet and also make sure you drop me a comment or note down in the comment sections below issues, disagreements, all that stuff, whatever. That is it for now, though. So do appreciate all the continued love and support means so much. Stay safe. Take care. I'll catch you back in the next video.